Hi there, my name is Austin Evans and today I have the pleasure of greeting you as an LG Explorer expert and I'm honored to reveal the first product of LG's Explorer project to the world. I'm happy to introduce a product that is truly unique and shows a very new direction for LG to explore. Today we're going to get a hands-on look at the LG Wing and get a real user's perspective on how this device can provide a genuinely new mobile experience feature by feature. First up, we need to unbox the device, and who better to do that than the king of unboxings himself, Lou from Unbox Therapy. Today I've got something that I'm certain you've never seen before. I've looked at many smartphones, and you know I'm always on a hunt for that next futuristic form factor, and I think that's what we're about to find inside of this box right here. Now at first glance, you get the lid off and you think to yourself, that's just a standard smartphone. Then you start playing with the packaging, and you notice something is a little bit different. And when you pull the phone out, that's when things go to the next level. Boom, there it is my friends. This is the LG Wing. In a sea of the same basic bar type design phones, this is something truly unique. The swivel action feels mechanically solid. That's smooth. Goes without saying that when you pop this baby open, you're going to turn some heads. But more than that, this swivel design changes the functionality of the phone itself. Starting with the home screen that's been completely redesigned. Swivel mode also gives you a nice balanced grip. But really, this design is perfect for people who like to watch a lot of video on their phone like I do. Like when you're watching a video on your phone and you touch the screen by accident, the controls pop up, or when you get a text or call right at the most crucial scene, no more. The different grip means nothing interferes with the main screen and the grip lock button prevents accidental touches on the second screen. Another problem this dual screen setup solves is when you're using your phone for GPS and then you get a call. Now you have the GPS on the main screen and the call on the second screen. No screen interference, no missed turn. The main screen for your main task and the second screen for your calls, messages and notifications. It's simple and hassle free. It's easy to tell from the design that the wing was designed for comfortable viewing without interference. So, it's only natural that the wing is sporting a P-OLED display. When the display turns on, what's the first thing you notice? Well, you notice what's not there. No hole, cut out, no notch, just 6.8 inches of pure, uninterrupted P-OLED real estate. And despite it having two stacked screens, LG's P-OLED tech makes the wing thinner and lighter than you'd expect. So then you gotta be asking yourself, hey, no hole punch, no notch, and where's the front camera? Well, it's a pop-up camera and it's 32 megapixels. In the back, you have a 64 megapixel main shooter and two ultra wides, a 12 megapixel ultra wide for shooting in swivel mode and a 13 megapixel ultra wide for basic mode. Now you can do a whole dialogue scene in one take, record the action you want and your reaction at the same time. And if you happen to drop the phone by accident, Check out what happens in slow motion. For all you video files, the LG Wing comes with gimbal camera features. It has six motion sensors inside and stabilization software that can compensate for shakes and bumps in three axes. That means your shot will come out silky smooth. The Wing's form factor also gives you better balance and a more natural grip for shooting. And just like the gimbal cameras you're familiar with, you have the joystick on screen to tilt and pan the camera manually, and also the four gimbal shooting modes, follow, pan follow, FPV, and lock mode. Now having a gimbal attachment is great, but you have to carry it around, set it up, and by the time you're ready to shoot, maybe that moment is already passed. This is a lot faster. Now, these specialized functions are great, but where I think this phone really shines is in how useful it can be in everyday use. Like when you want to search while you're watching Netflix or following along to a cooking video and setting the timer at the same time. Multitasking feels easy and natural with this setup. Look how many different things you can do. And if you have a favorite combination of apps you always use together, you can pair them on the second screen to let you open them with one touch. And what makes the Wing stand out from other dual screen phones is the fact that when you don't want to use the second screen, you can make it disappear in a snap. Now you're in basic mode. This type of daily use means the hardware has to be solidly built. The swivel mechanism's swivel action has been tested over 200,000 times so that it works smoothly for years to come. It also has a water repellent coating that makes it water resistant for daily life. 
Plus, on the main screen, you've got an in-display fingerprint sensor. Even when using your normal apps, the second screen makes things easier, especially for one-handed use. There's nothing like the convenience of having video playback controls ready on the second screen. Futuristic form factor. Futuristic form factor. Or scrolling through the gallery on the second screen while viewing the full-sized photo on the main screen. If you like making videos, editing video on the wing is a breeze. Like professional editors that use two monitors, the wing's two screens make the controls feel less cramped. With all these great features, you don't want your data speed lagging behind. That's why the Wing is 5G enabled, and it's got enough battery power to last you all day. So this smartphone, obviously, it's much different. It's a completely new approach. I always appreciate ambition from manufacturers when they don't just do the status quo. Yes, it will work as a standard smartphone in this slab format, but when you pop it open, obviously, you can tell you're dealing with something quite different. Is this going to be the smartphone for everyone? I don't know, but maybe we're looking at the future. LG has been at the forefront of technology and specifically smartphone cameras for years now. So today, creator and illusionist Zach King is going to join us to talk a little bit about what creating content with the wing is like. Normally, I'd use two hands on a smartphone to get a really stable shot. But with the second screen, you can hold it up just with one hand, like a traditional gimbal stick. You have your joystick, your zoom, and different recording modes, like first person view, pan follow, follow, and lock mode. And today, I'm gonna take you behind the scenes and show you how we use the LG Wing to make some magic. Here's the video we made. No, no, wait! Wait. You want to see how we made it? So I'm going to use gimbal mode for this shot, which will make it really smooth as I'm running down the street. So I'm going to be running right here, and then you're going to follow like this here. Three, two, one, go. No, no, wait, don't go. Oh. So that one was shot in pan follow mode? Yeah. Well, let's do it in follow mode. No, no, wait, don't go. Then, to make the bike appear, we used lock mode to freeze the frame during the jump cut. Good. Ready? Go. Wait! Next, we edited the video. You can scroll through the thumbnails to see a preview of the videos. You find the best take, click on the edit icon, and it takes you to the video editor app. By having the controls on the second screen, that frees up your main screen for the footage. Then swivel down and upload the video. So there you go, a new magic video. Besides gimbal mode, the video camera also comes with time-lapse and slow motion. I can even adjust the audio caption options here. We've got basic, ASMR, and voice bokeh. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you in the next one.